So factor number one is gonna be the direction of your panels. Most of you guys are gonna be in the Northern Hemisphere, so that means due south is gonna be your best positioning. Just know, if you faced east or west, you're looking at a reduction in about 15 to 20% of the overall power output compared to south. And if you have to face north, the opposite direction, it can be up to 30% loss. And then going on to factor number two, we're looking at the angle that we set our panels. Now that can be different in the summer versus winter, but there is an easy reference that you have probably right on your phone. So you could take your iPhone or your Samsung, and remember you have like a measurement app that usually has a bubble level on it. So from horizontal, you'd want to measure it up. For me, it's 17 degrees in the summertime. Now wintertime, technically my optimal angle is 47 degrees. So it's substantially different. And if I had to pick a year round, it's about 30 or 31 degrees would be a good compromise. Now, number three goes to wire sizing. And why we need to consider wire sizing is because as you go up in the amperage and you go longer wire lengths, you're going to need to get thicker wire. Now, remember, gauge of wire goes down. So you're gonna start off in kind of the 18 gauge lineup and go all the way down depending on how many amps and how many feet you need of run. Why we need to consider this is because we want to minimize what is called the line loss. So what power loss we're getting through the actual just wiring to 2% or under. Now number four deals with dirty panels. As you put in your new system, everything's clean, working perfectly, but over time, those panels are gonna get dirty and it is a maintenance item that you need to keep track of. Additionally, obviously snow. If snow is completely covering your panels, well, obviously that power can be put all the way down to zero. So you do need to get the snow off if you wanna produce any power in the winter months. So speaking of covering panels, number five deals with shading. Not something to be taken lightly and you do need to consider where the sun's at in the morning Morning, coming up through our lunchtime hours, afternoon, and then going into the evening hours to get the most out of that. Now, in some scenarios, you're just gonna have to have a little shading on your panels. Most of these modern panels are pretty good with some bypass diodes built in. So if you have a series wiring relationship like this, if one panel's shaded, it's not totally taking out your system. 